Hey, good fucks here. Today I got a video of some uh, gameplay. This is the lineup. I went through the lineup update earlier today, so check that out for my in-depth description on this lineup. Here is the offense with Steve Young leading the helm. Here's the defense uh, with uh, Too Tall and Randy Moss is going to be the user in the 46 speed package, as you see at CB4, and then the rest of the defense there. Um, and, and as I said, take a look at the earlier game. So this is my lineup right here with John Randall, Steve Young, and Night Train Lane. And taking a look at my opponent, Night Train Lane, Ladane Towns, and Steve Young. So two, basically, God squads going at each other. Um, we both picked up Steve Young on the very first day that he's open. Uh, this is weekend league gameplay. I'm 10-1 and at this point. Uh, I, I rarely finish the weekend league, and I won't again this weekend. As you're seeing this, uh, I think on Christmas Eve. So happy Christmas Eve, if that is what you celebrate. If not, then uh, I guess happy holidays to you too, as, as this is a very unimportant day to you. Um, Regardless, here he is induced close spamming. He's a rudder, and as you guys know, rut stands for Reddit Ultimate Team, or I don't know, Reddit, or not Reddit. Uh, how about uh, reindeer until the end of humanity, but the rest didn't fit on there. So that's a very frustrating moment when you look at Deuce Close. So cover three doesn't play Deuce Close well, and, and Deuce Close succeeds because of the tight end angle and that other angle route. Or that was kind of like was it the PA crosser or whatever the the PA one is called. I forgot off the top of my head. That corner route gets in front of these cover three corners. Like in the real NFL, the cover three corners break on that ball intercepted, so they threw it out of the bounds. Um, so we got a uh, turnover on downs. We get the ball back, and and you guys know uh, so Reddit Ultimate Team. You guys know it's very near and dear to my heart. If you guys don't know what Reddit Ultimate Team is, it's, it's the subreddit. I don't know if you guys know what Reddit is. You can Google it. Uh, but uh, so it's always good to play a fellow person that's on the subreddit, even though even if they're running Deuce Close and uh, whatnot shenanigans. So yeah, it's a zero-zero game now. Our, our, my first possession was bad. His first possession, he drove down the field on me. I was unable to stop him. Although I got him on the fourth time, there he made a bad read. He did have the angle route open um, for him, so we got lucky there. It seems like there there are things coming open in the Deuce Close, but he did miss that one of another inside zone against uh, third and eleven against our dollar formation is able to pick up much of the yards. I mean, it's amazing that third and 11 is a running down, but it is Madden 18. And after that, I said on stream, you know, you got to always prep for the run first. And I, I looked past first on third and 11. It's always run, react, or think run, react, pass is, is Madden 18, basically how, how it is in, in this game. Uh, so otherwise, what, what else? Yeah, uh, so we got probably packs today. I, I think this will come out before the packs switch over. I'm going to try to get out, but who knows uh, with my you know ability to make uh, thumbnails and get videos out on time. But I think maybe I'll do a pack opening tonight if they're really cool packs for new gifts or something. Put it up on YouTube. So there might be three videos today or that might come out the next morning. We'll see. I, I don't know. I'll try to upload it right away, right? If they're coming out at 8 p.m. Eastern, I could try and get them up by... Nine, nice knockdown. Would have been sweeter for a pick. He tried a fake field goal with his. I don't know if he um, just didn't realize that he called the fake and that, and that was an accident or not. But uh, we took advantage of it, so we're going to turn it all the way. Um, I noticed with uh, Christmas Eve coming up, and it is the day today that you guys are seeing it. Uh, the market is down. I'm trying to run off seconds in the first half by um, getting to the end of the end zone, but to, to leave him l l fewer time left on the clock than uh, reasonable. He throws it deep, but Bo Jackson is there to pick it off. CB Bo, um, I have a love hate with CB Bo. Like he's good, but he's not. Like I've seen him get beat deep four times. Like I rarely get beat deep in on, in Madden online. Or you guys know that there's a streak over the top, and I've seen it happen to him four times. How rare is that? But tight end Bo, beautiful, beautiful son of a gun. He doesn't have the, the route running that you like. So I try with that new Adam Vinatieri kicker to kick a 61 yarder against the wind, or is that 62? Way short. Three miles per hour. I was hoping the wind was in my back. I can never tell in the uh, picking a lineup or picking a uh, play screen. So we've also had, uh, what do you guys think with the market going down, which is kind of cool with the promo coming up with all the new gifts that are being packed. Like what would you, what would you be satisfied with with new the gifts? I mean, we need new gifts, right? And they need to be plentiful. I, I hope they've f heard our f uh, feedback as our offensive line cannot balk, that we want more gifts to be plentiful. Because I mean, it's not like the gifts were great this past time. Uh, as we try to throw a cover uh, three beater, Jordan Nelson, and he just uses it and uh, picks it off. He knew exactly what I was doing when I set that up. Um, I, I, he's not hitting his angle route. He doesn't seem to like that angle route. Um, and talking about that pass rush there as we got home on a sack, um, pass rush online is generally pretty slow. Now, I've always complained about this because I go out and get these killers, these uh, Bruce Smiths, Ed Tuttle Jones, Mean Joe Green, John Randalls, Von Miller, and, and, and on and on as we are able to scamper 10 5 touchdown. Beautiful. I, I talk on and on about the lack of pass rush in this game because I got killers, but I've kind of my cha my thinking's almost evolved. They're changed. Like so, Madden. 
the the reason the pass rush can't be amazing in Madden is because we are not allowed one on one downfield passing. So a, a, an opponent right now can sit in cover two or cover three the whole game and cover everything low. And if the pass rush can get home in three seconds, if they leave everything up top one on one, guess what? There's nowhere to go. As we throw it up again to Bo and and nothing. We're just kind of just. I don't know, making poor decisions, trying to throw up and make plays here with Steve Young with the new cards, drawing them out. So, dumb raids makes, and I get punished for it. Good. But, like, Madden 16, I think Madden 16 was a perfect year to have a realistic pass rush. Because you could take advantage of Julio Jones one-on-one -on -one deep. But we saw a problem, uh, is that, that was bad animation. I definitely jumped him. I was jumping him when he was down on a hit stick. So, uh, Madden 16. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Because Problem got beat in the Madden Championship by throwing Jalen Ramsey as a rookie against Golden Ticket um, Rob Gronkowski. And Gronkowski just kept spec catching him, and they won. Because, pro you know, competitive players sit in one defense most of the whole game. And that defense generally has a blitz in it and is generally a three deep or a one or, or a coverage shell. So that coverage shell that would get spec caught over one on one deep, and they, they pay for making, uh, for calling that coverage. Uh, we get We then got the SWAT. Which means if we get a realistic pass rush, if we can't expect catch them down the field deep, we can't expect the fast pass rush. Just because there's a way to take away everything short. You can easily take away with, what is it, four guys on the line, two deep. So you have five, five, uh, four rushers. Wait, 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 wait sorry. So <laughs> I, I can't even think. Five in the intermediate area, in the or short area. Easy to take away the entire field. Cloud flats, a, a user, a hook zone. It's easy to take away those those short as we send a nice blitz there. 141, we're just kind of fucking around with uh, coverages. So I can see that as we try to run in, we're just not fast enough with uh, Winslow. We kind of we kind of jerk off to with our uh, user there. Don't don't quote me on that or do I don't care. Um, so also I don't know. I, have you guys played weekend league too? So I'm off that subject. So that's why my my thinking on the the fast pass rush has kind of evolved. For, for me not wanting it to me just being like okay whatever we can, we can kind of relax with the pass rush talk because because of the lack of downfield punishment for guys that that flood the bottom of these zones and uh, just do too deep nice pick Sean Taylor that guy's strong safety don't matter if he's out of position he's still making plays he's still making beautiful beautiful things and doing beautiful things for me um, but have you guys been spammed a lot I mean this weekend league I've seen more variety of formations you know you still see a lot of gun bunch which is weird because gun bunch has really evolved you didn't see it much at the start of the year you're seeing a lot more now that you know you see a lot of competitive guys in it you know everybody in the competitive season has kind of switched to gun bunch since you know skimbo wins everything and, and gun bunch is his jam and and really there's there are some really good routes in gun bunch to do and it felt like you know man 17 gun bunch was everywhere and then when the new game started it kind of didn't go anywhere as he's able to identify ronnie lot one-on-one -on -one and beat him deep so um, it, it, the meta is definitely evolving. It doesn't seem as restricted now, at least in my games during Weekend League. I went against a lot of different formations, which is very cool. But that's the end of the game. Um, good game to my fellow Rudder, and I will talk to you guys later.